but I'd rather put it like say here so when he comes at his base it gets immediately suppressed or if you uh, or if he comes down here it gets immediately suppressed by an MG so it stops him capping this territory so you have the American player Lock trying to hold his eighth of the territory and um, plenty of Volks going to do squads should buy a medic kit for these two guys take less casualties, less manpower drain poor little GP oh the jeep's getting hurt oh man this jeep's getting hammered oh no the pioneer squad got taken out by mortar Oh look, you see now he's got bars and it's, um, immediately he's, he's got heavy infantry so he should immediately think, alright what am I going to do? And he should think, alright oh, I'm going to go and get pumas or anything, any infantry really because if you got pumas they would definitely tear apart any infantry on the field. Alright, big engagement here. This is horrible. Oh no, but the MGs get taken heavy fire. It's just getting nasty. Oh, these Volkswagen deer squads are tearing it up. Even without veterans, see, they're doing so good. That squad should retreat. That three man squad, because it's a couple of shots and it's dead. I've no idea why the American guy hasn't retreated because he knows he's lost this battle. He's just taken extra casualties here. Oh, three. We've got a couple of free bars there, I think. Well, there's one free bar there, at least. Should pick that up. It's a free anti-infantry weapon. Although he's, te he's made all his Volkswagen um, MP40s, he can't pick that up. So that's why I would probably always leave one of my Volkswagen dogs without MP40s. Mind you, I hardly ever tech for MP40s because I like my Volkswagen ideas to have range power. And if there are drop weapons around, I can easily pick them up. So that Vol uh, MG should move up there. It doesn't need to retreat, really, because it's got that half-track, so you can reinforce it there. Ma um, again... Look at the manpower, 700, nowhere near. You should never ever have that much manpower, man. You should always have 100 max in case you want to reinforce, but unless you're saving up, or unless you're saving up for something. And all these Vox squads are chilling around the broken down cart. Right, bad idea because um, here, because he's capping with two Vox Grenadier squads on one point. Never ever double um, multiple cap with squads because one mortar shell right in the middle of that all of them will die. Needless casualties. So that Vox one should be capping there, that one should be capping that one over there, this uh, mission, munitions point. Which he is doing now. Hopefully. Alright, now, uh, finally, the American guy thinks, alright, I'm going to try the left hand side for once in my life. And this poor Jeep's getting, again, getting smashed by MG fire. Oh, this is not nice. It's got a damaged engine, and the MG, it doesn't know what to do with itself. It's turning around like a maniac. Oh, it's twitching. He's having a twitch, of, tw twitch attack. Oh, he takes a casualty. Oh, no, that's not good. What's this MG going to do? Again, the same, th same thing for the American guy. Look, he's double capping, and all those rifles are useless. They could be t one of them could be freaking finishing off that MG. I think this MG's got a bug on it, because that... There's one of them in there, and there's one of them in over there. Okay, it's got a bug in this game. Oh well. Um, and he's putting his men in there. He's got the whole of the left hand side now, but he's being um, assaulted on the left hand side. That's really random MG squad. Okay, he's capping his territory. Although the American is capping territory, he's not going to get any resources from this because he doesn't bother capping this GG point. Because if you look on the map, this point connects. If you capture this point, it connects every, every territory. So if you don't bother capping that point, you um, are not. If you in, if you still cap everything on this side, you won't get any resources because it's not connected. Right, we have Stemovic now charging down. He wants to sort out the threat in his left hand sector. He's got an MG pinning those men. Vox moving in.
Oh, Vox coming out of the thing. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, they're getting chewed up there. Right, and all these Vox will be moving up, challenging these guys. This is doing nothing. What do we have here? We have a Stug, the first piece of proper armour on the field yet. This this thing is ho nasty, absolutely horrible. You'll see why in a minute. I think. Just kills so many. Even without veteran C, it's freaking lethal. But how, the, the only bad thing about it is slow and not very manoeuvrable. Everything's a bit quiet on the western front here. Or should I say eastern front? But still. Just have this MG moving up. Screen cover. And then he would have this whole left hand, right hand side locked down apart from this bit where he could mine up. Stop the flanks. But here we go. Um, he immediately runs away from the stug that he sees in the field. See, so has a huge fear factor as well. See a piece of armour on the field. He immediately retreats all his men. Right, let's have a look and see what Spoke, how much Spokey's resources doing. He's not doing well. He's got hardly any resources left. Not much fuel. Uh, not so much, much munitions or fuel. And he's going to tech stickies because he's seen a um, panic, panically taking stickies because he's seen some armor on the field. And he's gone calling rangers. He can't really build any more troops because he's got ma his populations caps because he's not bothered to capture these these connecting territories. And Sturmovic's going to finish off and cap finish capturing the whole territory. But and we have the jeep fully repaired again. And it's coming out for another fight. And it's going to go down the main road. What's it doing? It's going to go check out his base. I think. See what he's got. Uh oh, Sturmovic's finally bought his. Panzer Command, it's almost up. Don't know what this Jeep is trying to attempt. He's probably just might just having a scouting look at his Stenovix base. But those that Jeep could be attacking those engineers while it's trying to build that and take extra damage or not manage to build that. Oh no, here comes the, another one of the Stugs. Oh, this is. Oh man, the it, it gets mulled by the MG, not the thing. But still, look, you've got to be careful with this, with this tank because it does do friendly fire damage on any units in the radius. As you see, the building's taking it, some damage. And we have a huge blob of infantry coming out now. Four rifles. Oh, but they're all going to get pinned because Stem's cleverly put his MG in the house because it covers this whole area now. Brilliant. Now Stem's just think, alright, let's move in with my shirt with my stugs to finish him off. They're all weak because weak, they're all on the main road. And this stug chilling out, bringing up his Vulcan and Deers. Oh. You miss stug, you hit the, the hedge. Now, Sturm should build his veterancy building by who he should have already built it by now. He probably should take veterancy on his tanks, which could be, and they, these make these stugs ten times more lethal than they already are. Oh no, we have rangers on the field. They will. They can easily kill a stug if um, Sturmovic's not careful with it. It does have good frontal armour, but attack from the sides, it will go down in a couple of hits. Now, if I was Sturmovic, I would send in both my stugs now cause, um, to finish off the job. Take, make him take heavy casualties. What um, this in, what this infantry player Spooky's doing wrong here is he's attacking with this whole infantry blob in one direction. He should be taking half of his troops and going a different way, or even splitting them into four groups and sacking. He may have a much better chance because then Sturmovic can easily sing, "All right, he's gone this side. Move all his troops over, troops over here, and counter it." Counter it. And this is going to be horrible. Oh my God, no! Oh, this is sick. See, you see what I mean by the front llama? Rocket hit that, didn't take much damage. Oh. Just six men that Stug took out then. Six whole men. Wow. 
Look at those casualties. And Spooky calls GG. Looks like game over for him. Wouldn't be surprised at all those casualties there. It's horrible. Well, that was a very interesting game, and we look like we have Stemovic Bitter and Stuka to finish off the retreating forces. Good idea, I always do that. If you've um, got ne enough munitions, you've teched a tier 4, and you've um, got enough manpower, go get a couple of Stukas on the field. They're like really cheap arty and they're really manoeuvrable, much better than Nebels because um, they're really slow. And you can quickly move them in, fire the rockets, and move out without anybody knowing. And then you can finish off all retreating forces that he's had. Um, so, uh, other mistakes, lots of Semvik was, um, <laughs> he's definitely floating too much munitions, 562 munitions, way too much, and the fuel, that could be all spent on veterancy, ended the game much quicker, um, same with the Stugs, um, he only relied on his off-map support for Stugs, even though these, these are brilliant against blobbing infantry, which um, has taken to his advantage, it's brilliant, but he could have um, also brought some Oswinds out from this Panzer, um, uh, command, or he could have got a campcraft center up and got his veterancy, like I said. Yep, he, yeah, always grab lying around um, uh, free weapons like this bar, that's actually infantry, infantry stuff. Um, but don't really cap it, because like here, Stone's capped it with his pioneers. I would have capped it with a um, Volks Grenadier squad, because you keep the whole Volks Grenadier squad, and it's only three men are taken from that squad to grab a weapon support team thing. So therefore, you keep the squad, and um, you also get a free mortar. And you do not lose a Pacific so cat with a pioneer. You lose the whole pioneer squad. Um, you could, he could also have been much more useful with mines. He's got plenty enough munitions, so he could put mines on the roads, all the places he could, can attack. And um, yeah, I think that might be it. Oh yep, yeah, one bet. He could also, as he's double, as he's really heavily gone on the right hand side and locked it down, he could double cap these points because he's got enough manpower. So you have extra fuel and extra munitions coming in. And that means more veterancy and obviously more, you know, like mines or whatever. So, yeah, and the American guy shouldn't be bobbing, especially against such a good player's turn. Um, and, uh, yeah, he should be splitting up all his troops around. Um, he should have made his weapons a lot more count. He didn't get one sniper. A good sniper would have been very good against these MGs that Sturm had on the field. Because one pap of that, and then he can have flanked him with his Volks, his rifle squads around the side, then finished off Stone's forces. He should have also probably, instead of going mo um, weapon support since that, he could have probably um, gone motor pool and therefore got Ireland quicker, mate, because Stone didn't have any AT at all whatsoever on the field until he brought out his Stugs, and even these aren't good against tanks, they're only good against infantry. Um, so, um, yeah, and also he could have, he could have ch attempted to go the left hand side. Through the whole of the mid uh, start of the game, he didn't even bother even sending one engineer squad to go check it out and start capping that side. He just focused on this whole right hand side, which is a bad idea. For Van Mark, that's good, go in one whole side and try and lock it down. But for, for the Americans, it's not. For Americans, you want to be flanking everywhere. You want to be on all sides of the field as possible, causing as much trouble as possible. Because if you get focus on one side, it's easy for the Vermark player to easily lock it down, grab his MGs in position like Stem's done, and easily pin them all down. And then easy advance and make him take so many casualties. Well, I want to thank you for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, I will continue to make more. And if you like to play co, why don't you come and join us? Where um, at the one one six? So, because um, we uh, have, we have great fun on the battlefield. And I want to say thanks again. Thank you for. I really appreciate you for you watching. And uh, goodbye.